Hello and welcome to episode 87 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a game from my past, Asteroids. Asteroids was released in 1979 by Atari. My first time playing this game was at Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor outside of Ford City Mall in Chicago, Illinois. Asteroids is a third person space shooter game in which you control a triangular shaped ship with a five button control panel. Two buttons to rotate left and right, one button to fire, one button for thrust, and one button for hyperspace. Use these controls to maneuver your way throughout the playfield. This game was played on a vector monitor which gave the sharp lines which weren't available with traditional CRT monitors of the time. You find your ship in the midst of an asteroid field. You need to avoid these asteroids at all costs because if one contacts your ship, it will explode and you will lose a life. You can rotate your ship a full 360 degrees by using the control buttons. You need to position your ship in order to shoot the floating asteroids. The game begins with your ship in the middle of an asteroid field consisting of four large floating asteroids. You do have an offensive weapon consisting of a forward firing gun. You can have up to four shots on the screen at a time. The shots will disappear after a predetermined distance or after it hits an object. Once a shot disappears, you will be able to fire another shot. If a shot goes off the side of the screen, it will reappear on the opposite side. In addition to your gun, you have the ability to use thrust to either escape from oncoming asteroids or fly closer to them to destroy them faster. The physics of the thrust are realistic because when you release the thrust button, your ship will continue to move in the same direction although it will decelerate slowly. You can slow down your ship faster by thrusting in the opposite direction. The final item your ship has is the hyperspace. Pressing the hyperspace button will cause your ship to disappear from its current location and will cause it to reappear at a random location on the playfield. You need to use the hyperspace cautiously because you are not guaranteed safe re-entry when you appear because you could either re-enter in the path of an asteroid or just explode upon re-entry. In addition to the asteroids, a flying saucer will occasionally appear. These saucers will fire shots in an attempt to destroy your ship. You can also shoot these saucers for points. There are two sizes of flying saucers in all, one small and one large. The large saucer will fire shots more at random and the small one will aim more towards your ship. The object is to destroy all the asteroids. The asteroids will come in three sizes in all, large, medium, and small. Each level will always begin with the large asteroids. Shooting a large asteroid will split it into two medium asteroids and shooting a medium asteroid will cause it to split into two small asteroids. Shooting a small asteroid will cause it to disappear. The enemy shots can also hit the asteroids doing the same damage. Once all the asteroids are destroyed, you will face a new barrage of asteroids. The second level will begin with six large asteroids, the third will begin with eight asteroids, the fourth will begin with ten asteroids, and the fifth and further levels will begin with eleven. Scoring for the game is as follows. You will earn 20 points for shooting a large asteroid, 50 points for shooting a medium asteroid, and 100 points for shooting the small asteroid. You will earn 200 points for shooting each large flying saucer, and 1000 points for shooting each small flying saucer. You will earn no points if an enemy saucer shoots or crashes into an asteroid. There are a couple different strategies for this game. The strategy for beginners is to shoot as many asteroids and saucers as possible to advance to the higher levels. The advanced strategy is to destroy all except one or two small asteroids and to hunt the flying saucers. The main hunting strategy is to fly upward and shoot the saucers as they appear. The purpose of flying is so the saucers have a harder time locking onto your ship when firing at you. Due to programming limitations at the time, the game can only display 26 asteroids of any size on screen at a time, so if there are 26 asteroids on screen and you shoot a large asteroid, only one medium asteroid will appear. And the same goes for shooting the medium asteroid, only one small one will appear. Early versions of this game allowed you to hide your ship in the upper corner in the score display and it would make your ship invulnerable, although I couldn't duplicate this for filming. This glitch allowed for easier saucer hunting, although due to complaints from arcade owners, this was corrected with replacement EEPROMs. I liked this game and found it challenging despite its simplicity, and even though I never got good at it, I can't condemn a game due to my lack of skill, so I recommend playing it whether in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I liked this game more than Gunfight, but not as much as Jump Coaster, so Asteroids shoots its way into the 74th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.